Rusaf was gazetted a very long time ago in the 40s. It was for the purpose of uh, establishing a plantation to fill the paper mill industry. And during this time, a vast area of land was uh, removed. I mean, we have um, natural forest being removed to plant the uh, non-native melina. A great percentage of uh, the forest was uh, removed during those periods. I mean, it should be well over uh, 80 percent. And uh, what we have left serve as uh, the area of uh, natural forest area or the biosphere area. Our Mashasha Olowa Forest Initiative was established to protect remaining population of forest elephants and its environment, as well as the under endangered species of wildlife, which include the Nigerian Cameroon chimpanzee and uh, endangered species of birds and trees. Because of the canopy, the close canopy and the rain, uh, in the rainforest, most times, even during, during the daytime, there's a limited amount of sunlight that reach the forest floor. And most of them send down their root system from the treetop down to the forest floor. And part of the reason why they, they do that is to obtain some nutrients and some water. Here in, in the Omo here, we have Mona monkey and uh, Putinos monkey that are making use of this huge rope to reach the tree canopy to get uh, food, leaves and any other thing that's interesting. An endangered species is one that is whose population is declining and heading to extinction. So it, it means that in their natural habitat, their numbers have become few and they are currently undergoing threats that can wipe them out. Protection of the habitat is what will keep these animals because where you have them just in the wild, most times it is difficult to reach cover in terms of population. There are a whole lot of activities that endanger the forest as a habitat. So key among them is conversion to farmland. So if you go through the forest, there are a lot of cocoa farms around. And cocoa is an economic plant and everyone wants to go into farming and you just they don't want to just do subsistence farming. They want to get a lot of money from it. And that is one key thing that is going on here. Secondly, you have logging. Logging is also a huge activity. And because we have an, um, the government plantations around, people overstep the boundaries of that into the natural forest and take um, natural wood. We also have um, settlements are growing in size. So you have increasing population. So settlements are growing and so forest is being cleared for um, f um, housing and then subsistence farming even around those areas. Hunting also is a major threat to, to wildlife. It's a big threat here. Oman, Shasha and Hulua, they are close proximity to Lagos and other big cities. So there's market for bushmeats around here. So we know that Chimpanzee occupied those area in the time past, but due to settlement and uh, other form of disturbances, there's less uh, occurrence of chim in that area. While interaction with some people show that they understand how important the forest is, 
there are others who do not have a deep understanding of the roles that forests play so they probably look at the forest in terms of the economic value they can benefit and that what that's what leads to conversion to farmlands and all that but there are people that are currently in tune with you know conservation messages that go on and they understand that the forest is very important forest elephant lives here and they are very important in our forest and um, they play an important ecological role they disperse seed they propagate seed and they break seed dormancy but apart from that elephant also they modify the structure of the vegetation Elephants are key species in that when they are in an ecosystem, other animals depend on them. Plants as well, as they aid in regeneration of the plants that they consume, so they help in the germination process. So elephants, they also, you know, kind of open up certain areas of the forest for regeneration. So elephants play a very, very key role in maintaining the structure of, of the, the Omo Forest Reserve. Elephants were here and they did all sort of mud bathing and they made some uh, droppings around here. So when we, we, when we observed the, the dung then, we discovered that uh, there are some seeds that were deposited in the dungs. So I'm coming here now to see a lot of uh, seeds sprouting out of the dungs is really amazing. They are social animal, so um, they, they form a specialized group in the forest and that group is, is being led by a female, that's the, the, uh, the, the biggest and the the most experienced female in the group and is called uh, the Metra. She is the custodian of the entire herd. If logging, farming and hunting rates is not checked, I would say the future is on the brink. The only future for biodiversity at large here because as it stands now we have very few areas left that comprise uh, the natural forests and many of these areas that are left they are fragmented patches of forest and this affects a lot of wildlife because um, most of them have a specific home range where which they can uh, live and uh, prosper. But if those uh, conditions are not met in terms of home range requirements and uh, resources available in terms of food and shelter, then there will be a decline in the population of wildlife. In terms of the local climate, for instance, there are changes in, in um, climatic patterns. So rainfall is no longer stable. And normally people would plan their farming activities in accordance with the expectations of rain and all that. But because those things are changing, um, they want to understand why. And this, the role of forest plays in all this, in regulating climate, is very important. So that protecting what we have will be beneficial to, to the people around here. We are lo looking at a situation whereby people see that the forest belongs to them and they 
have the duty to protect the forest for the, their immediate use and for generations to come. <laughs>